102.1 The Edge and the best case for a malpractice suit I've ever heard is Operation MD. The band will perform tonight at the Casby Awards. We just heard Sayonara. And, of course, you know, the band made up of Cone from uh, from Sum 41. And Steve-O is tonight playing drums. But you know what? Since there's nothing going on with them. Todd, great to see you. <laughs> oh, Todd Morris, oh, wow. Juliet and Alex, and our friend... Um, Hey, uh, well, welcome back to Canada. I never. <laughs> Am I here? I can't really tell you. Here, you know what? Um, as you well know, we were talking before about speculation and, and, and how people like to run rampant. Let, let's set the record straight. Well, yeah, I think it's you know we have canceled in the past because you know Derek blew out his voice a couple times, so there's a lot of rumors going around that he wasn't actually really hurt. When you know we just wanted to set it straight that he is very much hurt. He's in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, he's in a wheelchair. So uh, you know, I mean. It's not really, I, I, usually I'd make a funny joke, or at least I'd think it was funny, but right. I mean, right now it's just nothing really I, that funny to say about it. I think, that, I think that, is, uh, that is the most humbling thing you can say right now, is that you're not even making fun of it. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, um, you know, we hope he gets better. I mean, he's obviously taking it seriously. He's, the doctor told him he has to be in bed for uh, well, a week, and he has to start physiotherapy for six weeks. But I don't know. I mean, it could take longer. If, it, if he hurts it again, he might have to get surgery. And there's one thing, like you got, you got two testicles, you got two eyeballs, but you only got one spine, so you can't screw around <laughs> <laughs> and, on that, and on that note, let's let's. let's I did make a joke. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey. and it had yeah, something but, uh, to do with the male anatomy. I'm so hey, predictable. And just, and just, um, on that note, it is it is magical that you guys are here, and we were able tonight to have the first Operation MD. Todd, uh, you put in yeoman effort to get here. Tell us as you, your day job with Juliet and the Licks, and and also with the with this carnival of sorts. Tell us where you were last night, what you went through to get here. Oh man, we played at a uh, Stubbs Barbecue in Austin, and Texas. That's with Juliet and the Licks, your band with Juliet Lewis. And with yep, Juliet and the Licks. And anyone that played in Austin knows none of those shows are early. No, everyone no. goes on late around there. I think we got off stage maybe around one o'clock. And uh, last call is sun, sun, sunrise, basically. Yeah, we got off stage at one o'clock, and uh, and uh, Cone was already texting me, "Go to bed, get some sleep, don't miss <laughs> your plane." And I'm like, "Dude, I just got off stage. Man. I'm going to the after party." That was just a, it was a nightmare <laughs> that was going through my head. It was like you know, some 41 had to cancel, and then Todd misses. His Playing and we have to cancel. So I slept I like, like a baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to go back. I, I talked to you about this the other day, Steve. I'll get Cohen's thoughts and, and uh, Todd, if you've known the man or worked with him too. It was on this stage three years ago where you guys played with Iggy Pop. Yeah. Right? Oh, to, yeah. to this stage, us watching the sound check is still the all time Cavs B moment. Thoughts on that one? Oh, yeah, man. That was, that was awesome. That was probably one of the highlights of our career, I'd say. And, and he's just a normal guy. He just wants to sit around and play euchre just like everybody else. Oh, yeah. Iggy <laughs> was just so low key. Like he, you know, just just one of the guys hanging out. He just had no ego. His wife's right. fun to look at. Oh, yeah. She's... Nina. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Good times. I can't do that, but you know what I'm <laughs> trying to do. I got it. Um, <laughs> uh, Todd, you were going to be back with Julia and the Licks when? You guys... uh, November 11th at the Mod Club. Who did you open at Massey Hall for? Well, uh, I was out of town. Oh, Chris Cornell? Chris Cornell. Yeah, we were with, with Chris so Cornell. Bet so between that and these guys, how many times have you been to Canada this year? Man, I should be, I, you know, I should get an I think honorary, you should be paying taxes. I what you should be doing. I should get an honorary passport. <laughs> I, I, I show up to, to immigration, they're like, ah, go. Um, <laughs> on behalf of, uh, of everyone, we wish Derek all the best. And a, message, cool. a, a final message to the fans out there, Cone Steve-O? Uh, well, just, you know, thanks for supporting us and everything. I mean, uh, Be you know, patient. We will be back. But we yeah, we, I mean, we were having a great time. You know, that tour was amazing, and uh, we're sorry it had to end, but, I mean... It's pretty serious. So, and I hope you gave Dimatic in your gas card so they can get home from uh, wherever yeah. the hell you were. Okay, <laughs> I, like I didn't even think about that. that. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man, <laughs> this is gonna I'll come around. Feel even, I feel even worse now. 